Yo, what is going on, my people? Welcome back to another video. In this episode, we're gonna be covering the top three cryptocurrencies to invest in. So a ton has been happening in the space, and while we're still on a rampage in that bull market, I believe that there is a ton of opportunity that many people would consider an early investment with huge upside. Thank you for your vote of confidence. And welcome to the Investor Center. To give you a broad overview on the format of this video, I'm gonna first share with you my price prediction and discuss whether or not Bitcoin is still worth investing in and why I believe April could be a huge month for many investors. What we've seen so far is that the momentum has slowed down significantly for the month of March and it's been trading a little sideways. The latest bull run began back in October, totaling over 688% for the year to date in gains. And historically, the price data seems to show March March as that correcting month, while April oftentimes follows back up in a rally. I truly value taking heavy consideration into historic reoccurrences while acknowledging that the entire space now is much more prepared than we had with any other bull runs with added additions of institutions supporting cryptocurrencies and finally buying in celebrities bringing more awareness than ever before and many, many more platforms being much more optimized in introducing new users to their platforms. April could really really be the best month for cryptocurrency yet. So every day, some of the most popular questions I get asked is, Brian, what crypto do I invest in now? And is Bitcoin too high and too late? So before we get started with this video, I feel like we should just answer those most popular questions and it'll lead us into the point of this video and then talk about some of those cryptos I've been researching heavily for the past few weeks. So to start, let's talk about Bitcoin. If you're looking at Bitcoin as a long-term investor, not just a short-term play, right now is still very early and I have full conviction that it is not too late at all to be investing in. I do however want to mention that I am a firm believer we're going to see a very strong correction at the end of this bull cycle but right now it's almost impossible to tell when that will be. It could happen in a few days from now, a few weeks from now, a few months, maybe this bull run even lasts a few years. Right now the easiest play to make if you're a new investor is to just buy and hold and forget about it. You can dollar cost average you can drop your money when you feel like is the low but if you are holding this for that long term period you do not have to worry about any short term volatility or small little trades happening this kind of goes back to the whole amc gme mindset we had which was diamond handing these type of investments knowing that if you get scared if you paper hand it and you sell at a loss that is really just on your own accord and there's nothing really for me as a youtuber to help you with that before even investing, have the proper mindset and the mentality of what your exit strategy is gonna be and what you believe in. You can't just rely on these YouTube channels to figure out what your decision is gonna be. I will still do my best in order to help educate you just in case there are people who do not wanna spend hours and hours of research. I love doing that anyways. I love waking up and reading the news and seeing what's going on in the market. So there's no issue with that, but I just wanna say, take in different perspectives, watch other channels, see what I have to say, compare my point of view with someone else because it could be completely different and then form your own opinion and invest deciding on what you want to do now when this massive bull run does begin to slow down and we start seeing a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel i will be collecting my profits on my investments especially with my altcoin portfolio but i'm gonna say this i will always have bitcoin no matter what i'm never gonna sell my entire bitcoin portfolio because i truly believe it serves multiple functions especially as a a hedge against inflation with the way the dollar is going, which is truly, truly scary. So going back into the video, what is my price target for Bitcoin? Well, I personally see it going well over $100,000 by the end of this year. And my number comes from the average that I've taken from institutions much more smarter than I am. So to give you an example, JP Morgan, one of the largest investment banks mentioned in a note that $130,000 is their price target because it highlights that Bitcoin at 130 k would match the total investment sector for gold. I personally do believe that there will be a strong transition of wealth from physical commodities over into digital currencies like Bitcoin. Now, other veteran analysts like Peter Brandt, who has been in the commodity market for more than 
four decades. He believes that Bitcoin will hit 180,000 to 200,000 by quarter three or quarter four based on its long-term trend. Regardless of whoever may be right with their price target, I think we can all agree that Bitcoin will be much higher long-term than the current price of $56,000 right now. Now, with all that being said, I do have to mention, there are going to be a ton of new altcoins that come to the market. But if you want to play the safe bet while still also involving yourself into the cryptocurrency market, you cannot go wrong with Bitcoin. If you're a new beginner and you still aren't sure and you think it's too high, hopefully this video was the one that woke you up and gave you the revelation to realize it's not too late. $56,000 for Bitcoin, it does sound a lot, right? And you don't need a full $60,000 to invest. If you have $100 sitting in your checking account, you can invest even less than that, five, $10 into Bitcoin if you really wanted to. Now, with that being said, let's talk about our next cryptocurrency that you may want to consider investing into other than Bitcoin. So I think it's safe to say the NFT space has officially died down from its peak that we had earlier this year. The daily number of NFT sales have plummeted from 33,000 on March 28th to currently 26,000 on April 6th. If we take a look at other crypto NFT platforms like CryptoPunks and NBA Top Shots, we can clearly see that the activity and price has plummeted in these markets. Now, on one side of the coin, this is terrible news for anyone invested in the NFT space, especially if you decided to get into something like Top Shots earlier this year. It would have also really, really sucked if you cashed out some of your top earning cryptos for these Top Shots. And then on top of that, it would just be torture if those Top Shots started to lose value and it was becoming very hard to liquidate. It would be torture. It would be terrible. Oh wait, yeah, that, that was me. So I was one of the few investors who got into Top Shot with a couple other creator friends a few days before the massive bull run began. Currently, my profile is still ranked in the top 1% among all Top Shot users. However, my profit has dipped so, so much since I first began. I remember at the highest of my portfolio, I did make about fifty dollars to $60,000 in the matter of a week. And then slowly that started to go down and down and down. And now we are in the red for that portfolio. Now, look, I completely get it. On one hand, this looks like a terrible investment if I decide to take my losses now. However, I always want to reflect on the good old wizard, Mr. Buffet, and remember his quote, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So circling back to this video, while the NFT market continues to come to a free fall, I see this as a good buying opportunity for anyone who missed out on the last run. I can't tell you exactly when the next hype train is going to leave, but I know I'll have a few positions waiting for me for the day it does begin to explode. I also recently discovered an index fund on top NFT cryptos that you can invest in if you are a believer in this space. This NFT index fund has only been listed for less than a week, meaning this is still very, very new and early on. This NFT index is called NFTP and it's gone down 17% since they've been released, making this a potential buying opportunity for new investors seeing the value in the NFT space. NFTP is made up of 10 diversified coins. This includes Engine, Decentraland, Sand, Sue Farm, Audius, Axie Infinity, Eternity, Gala, Rarible, and NFTX. Hopefully I didn't butcher those names too bad, but you can currently buy this index if you are interested off Uniswap. Right now they are trading at $23.41 at the time of this recording with less than a million dollar market cap. Please do your own diligence before making any trades because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random guy trying to be his best and uh, trying to become a millionaire from his investments and hopefully help some people along the way as well. Now, with that being said, let's discuss our next coin to look out for. And this is going to be all about the e-commerce space. So recently we had the CEO of Shopify asking his followers about the DeFi space over on Twitter. One person replied, gut reaction. I read heart Shopify, but it feels kind of wrong. A central co to touch my precious decentralized DeFi. Please think about the wonders and inequality reducing potential of DeFi decentralization as you begin. Now, Toby, the CEO of Shopify responded with this. Shopify is a product of pre-crypto times and spiritually aligned with decentralizing opportunity. Over a million businesses use us around the world. After reading this thread even more, it's clear that the leader of Shopify is very open to the idea of DeFi features implementing into their storefront. And if you don't know what DeFi is, this is just an umbrella term for decentralized finance. And over anything, it'll cover insurance, crowdfunding, lending, 
derivatives, anything regarding peer-to-peer -peer payments. The DeFi space is absolutely incredible and we're seeing a ton of people getting into it, just trying to see what's popping next. Now in 2020, consumers spent around $900 billion online and they had the largest digital sales number to date. Roughly one out of $5 was spent online in 2020. And MasterCard released a study that believes 20 to 30% of global digital sales will last through 2021 and it's gonna continue to peak over the next few years. Now with all that being mentioned, I also wanna talk about digital grocery store sales because that also peaked in 2020, rising over 70, 80% due to the height of this pandemic. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I go to Whole Foods, it seems like there are more Instacart and grocery delivery workers than there are actual shoppers. I strongly believe e-commerce is gonna continue to dominate the industry. And as a value investor, I'm looking for the next coins that can bring innovation and real life use cases to this sector. So with all that being said, if mass adoption between e-commerce and cryptocurrency happens and they begin to merge, this in my opinion will be much bigger than anything we've ever seen including the recent NFT hype. And as you guys know, that was pretty wild. So what coins should you be looking out for when talking about the e-commerce and DeFi space? Right now, since we are pretty early into this space, there aren't necessarily any direct e-commerce coins that I believe would have a full reflection of the innovation in the space that we're seeing right now. But there are some coins that kind of relate to what the e-commerce space is like. And I'm going to start with a coin called Spy. So Spy is currently at $211 during the time of this recording. And in the past year, they've gone up 8,000%. Now in this past week, they did pull back about 21%. So it could be another buying opportunity, but let's talk about what SPY is. So this cryptocurrency just makes online shopping easy. You can order from major e-commerce stores like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, using some of your favorite cryptocurrency. All you have to do is find the URL, paste it into the platform, you order from there and you're good to go. Now as a token holder, they give you additional benefits, which I find very attractive. So if you sign up, apparently you get 10% discount from all items off Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. They give you international shipping, monthly giveaways, and offer a membership to another discount club. Now, I do know that a coin that is trading for $200 can be pretty frightening to most, but I do still see shopping surpassing that $300 mark by the end of this year if we continue to be on this bull cycle. Now, Shopping IO has massive room for growth. It's a legitimate project and has a pretty good use case in a market that I see continuing to grow. I also do want to mention, I've seen shopping talked about by other YouTubers and I always question whether or not they were shilling it. I want to make this disclaimer, at least for my channel, I have zero positions. I've never been in contact from anyone with that cryptocurrency team. They've never reached out to me. I've never reached out to them. I'm not even invested into them, but after doing some research, reading the white paper, I do personally believe it's a good representation of the e-commerce and related DeFi space as a token during this time. Now it is fully up to you to make your own decision if you want to go ahead and invest into a token just like this. Regardless, if you choose not to, which I don't even think is the wrong move at all, the biggest takeaway point is to just understand exactly where we are right now in 2021 and what we can continue to see grow and how you can relate that with some of the buying opportunity with relatable coins in the market right now. Now guys, I hope you're able to find some type of value in this information. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And also don't forget to check out the links down below in the description if you want to be on your way to earning some free money while supporting this channel as well. I have a link for Coinbase down there, which will give you $10 after depositing $100 in the app. We also have BlockFi, which is similar to a savings account for your crypto investment, where you can earn up to 8% back on interest while getting up to $250 using my link, depending on how much you deposit. One last thing, if you want to pick up $25 with crypto.com, you can go ahead and use my link down below as well. You get $25 if you use the code Jung. When you sign up, they'll email you a way to sign up for the app. Follow me over on Instagram at Credit Brian, Twitter, Brian Jungie, and hopefully y'all have an amazing day. Stay safe out here. Stay lovely. Peace out. See y'all in the next one.